day. He wrote overnight that press conference is now canceled. And there's still no word on when the former president will come down to Fulton County and surrender. Hoda, he and his other co-defendants have until next Friday at noon. Oh, all right, Blaine Alexander for us there. Blaine, thank you. Now to an alarming trend. It has store owners and officials saying enough is enough. A slew of flash mob robberies and burglaries. Look at that. It's playing out at retailers across the country. This, the problem is especially bad in the city of Los Angeles. NBC's Gotti Schwartz has got the story for us this morning. Gotti, good morning to you. Hey, good morning, Savannah. Yeah, it's becoming all too common here in L.A. These smash-and-grab robberies where criminals smash into a store, usually selling high-end goods, overwhelm security, grab what they can, and take off. And this last one, more than 50 robbers hitting the store at the exact same time. This morning, lawmakers trying to take action amidst a surge of violent smash-and-grab robberies. Our message is clear. Those who commit these crimes will be caught Los Angeles Mayor Karen Bass announcing a new task force to fight retail crimes on the heels of several brazen burglaries in recent weeks. No Angelino should feel like it is not safe to go shopping in Los Angeles. Just days ago, thieves made off with more than $100,000 in handbags from a Gucci store in Costa Mesa, while last weekend dozens of robbers swarmed this Nordstrom in L.A. Authorities estimating that haul could range from $60,000 to $100,000. And while some critics argue L.A. County's zero-dollar bail policy for some low-level nonviolent offenders could be empowering criminals, District Attorney George Gascon disagrees. We will use every tool available under the law when there is an arrest made to make sure that these individuals are held accountable. And it's not just L.A. Smash and grab crimes have been impacting communities nationwide. They're, they're going in stores, just going out, just stealing stuff, and nobody's doing nothing about it. Including in Illinois, Florida, and beyond in recent years, with drugstores and pharmacies also major targets. Last year in New York, 41 people were arrested in a multi million dollar theft ring for swiping luxury and drugstore goods and reselling them on eBay. One poll by the National Retail Federation found more than half of consumers think crimes like looting and shoplifting have increased since the start of the pandemic as shoppers call on elected leaders to do more. It's a shame that um, citizens are, you know, just trying to do their regular shopping and are impacted by other people's poor decisions. Now, as you saw from these videos, getting caught up in the middle of something like this can be terrifying. If you do, experts say it is super important to stay calm, think about escape routes in advance, uh, keep as much distance as you can between you and those who are robbing the store, get help as soon as possible, call police, but you do not want to intervene. In cases like this one, robbers use bear mace on security. Savannah. Wow. All right, Gotti, thank you.